hello everyone welcome to illustrator so in this lecture i'm going to talk about the shear wall uh, you can say uh, analysis in stat pro and uh, one of the warnings that you may get uh, while analyzing the uh, wall uh, uh, that you have model as plate element in uh, stat pro so uh, before getting into that uh, first of all i want to show you what is that warning that you may get while analyzing the shear wall or because analyzing the uh, uh, wall in uh, stat pro so this is one of the model very simple model i have made with some plate elements modeled as wall okay and uh, uh, i'm going to show you the you can say uh, the uh, the warning that i'm getting here so i'll just go to analyze and design actually the all the loads are applied and uh, the analysis commands are also being uh, i can say uh, i can say made okay so i'll just uh, click on this run analysis it will uh, take some time to analyze the structure and you can see here i have three warnings if i go to view output file done and let me take the warnings only so here you can see uh, it is written that wall warning wall area command should be present with st equal to 4 uh, uh, you can say reference clause you can say here it is written uh, 7.6.2b okay so uh, how it is actually how you are getting this okay how you are uh, getting this one so basically if you see here i'll just close this if i go to the loading and if i go to uh, the load definition and my seismic static seismic load definition here and if i just double click here there are two things that you need to check okay the first thing is the type of structure so, okay so just me just click on this generate uh, to show you one that here in structure type if you see that fourth option that we have this fourth option is nothing but if you see this one it is nothing but building with structural walls okay this one is buildings with structural walls so uh, let me just again show you this fourth option okay so this is buildings with structural walls so when you select this type of structure in your seismic definition okay so the type of structure i have selected four and what i want here i want the software or the program to calculate the uh, you can say the time period based on the empirical formulas given in our code so if you see the empirical formulas in 7.6.1 and uh, uh, if you see here uh, we have for the uh, uh, bare frames okay we have for the structural walls and we have for the all other structures with inputs right and uh, in the amendment it is written that among this uh, there are two clauses actually uh, two three clauses amended regarding the uh, time period with which need, we need to be uh, i can say considered for uh, wall design uh, uh, among these three okay there is a uh, clause so if i just show you here in yeah you can see here in this clause uh, so let me see uh, this particular uh, if i am talking about first we have this aw another one is this one the value of ta obtained shall be shall neither be taken to be more than that given in 7.6.2 or not less than sorry 7.62 uh, 6.2 a or not less than uh, given in 7.6.2 c okay so it is basically saying that uh, uh, your time period that you are getting from the formula of 7.6.2 b for the uh, structural walls uh, we can say buildings with structural walls that time period value should not be less than the time period for the bare bare frame structure and should not be uh, you can say sorry should not be greater than than the uh, 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 bare frame structure and should not be less than than the structure with infills or you can say with the uh, all other buildings that we have okay that time period so now obviously these these clauses will when you are calculating uh, you can say manually then there is no issue just put your time period there whatever you have calculated you check this clause whichever is uh, you can say you meeting this clause requirement you put that value in the uh, px and uh, sorry here if you see uh, in the period value px pz right but 
when you are asking the software program to calculate the uh, time period so in that case program will calculate all these time periods and whichever is uh, meeting that uh, amended clause that will take now the thing is that if you, when you are calculating the time period with this formula uh, in 67.6.2 b so here we actually need one uh, very specific data which is this one effective awi if you see here so awi means here this aw i if you see this this particular thing so this awi is nothing but the effective cross sectional area of wall i in the first story of building in meter square and this is for each direction actually okay so and when you are finding for tax suppose so in x direction what are the uh, you can say uh, the number of walls that you have so the cross sectional area of those walls in that particular direction okay in the story one first story so this area is required so if you see in this in this particular uh, warning if you remember if i just open that uh, analysis output again so it is clearly mentioned if i just remove the notes reference clause 7.6.2 b so basically it is talking about this clause okay 7.6.2 here you can see and 7.6.2 b is this clause so this area you need to define uh, to get this particular calculation done now uh, if i just show you that not only this structure type that you need to put along with this the what is your ground level okay and also at the bottom if you see what is the height of the structure from for uh, using which you want to calculate the time period and uh, the base dimension in x and z that you need to define then only it can calculate all this uh, you can say if you see this h is there for story height i guess it is sorry height of the building then in the other uh, formula we have the base dimensions d required in this formula we require the height so this height and the base dimensions and along with that what is the structure type okay whether it is a uh, uh, moment frame whether it is a structure with rcc structural wall so that you need to provide and the software will automatically calculate the time period for you based on this empirical formulas given in the code is 193 part 1 2016 okay so here if you are putting these values manually if you are not using the automatic method for that in that case you will not get this warning okay so uh, now now what i will do and one more thing i want to mention that these walls that i have modeled may not that may not be affecting uh, much but uh, uh, these walls i have modeled using the parametric modeling option in the geometry okay so if you go to parametric modeling uh, let me just show you that you can define one mesh or you can say plate as wall actually so if i just uh, go to uh, preview model I think there is a okay let me just close it review model add okay fine suppose i am just adding these four nodes just to show you so here you can see the type you can select from here one okay though that is not the issue i'm just telling you that uh, you can define a certain number of meshes or a certain number of plates as well okay so uh, suppose you are designing this particular structure in rcdc in that case rcdc will automatically detect these plates as walls actually okay otherwise rcdc will not be able to understand whether it is plates or uh, sorry walls or uh, slabs okay so fine uh, now <coughs> what i will do uh, i will go to the loading and uh, in the definition so what i need basically i need this cross sectional area in the first story of this walls along both the directions okay so i'll just make a, a measurement so i hope you know that we can measure the node to node distance in the uh, stat pro so if i in this direction if you see this is of uh, 5 meter and in this direction it is of 4.5 meter and if you see in the properties i have taken a sorry i have taken a where it is plate of 300 mm for the uh, uh you can say walls okay so 300 by 5 meter and 300 by 4.5 meter is my wall area so i'll go to loading definition static uh, uh auto uh, seismic load you can say automatic seismic load definition here and i'll double click in this so uh, this is my 
this definition where i will put the zone factor response reduction factor structure type and all now what i will do i'll click on this sysmic definition again i'll click on add and here you will see we have a option of wall area okay we have an option of wall area so that wall area basically we need to define so we have in x direction if you see along x direction we have two walls so of 300 by 5 meters right uh, so we will give 0 0.3 by 5 i will give again 0 0.3 3 by 5 okay and in z direction we have the 0 0.3 by 4.5 so i will give 0 0.3 by 4.5 0 0.3 by 4.5 okay so i have given this uh you can say uh, uh informations to the software okay now if i click on add and close so you can see along this definition two wall areas along x and z it is defined now if i just run the analysis again and i'll save it so you can see there is no warning if i go to uh, you can say output file and if i suppose go to any of the uh, uh calculation so you can see the time period must be calculated let me show you where it is okay actually the sa by g is calculated and time period for x yeah 0 0.54 seconds you can see here okay 0 0.54 seconds is uh, uh given here so this is for x direction if i go to uh, base shear and time period for z direction you can 0 0.73485 okay so uh, now here i have just uh, shown you the static case in dynamic case no such things will come because in this case we do not require this empirical formulas to find out the time period right and even if you are calculating the uh, you can say time periods manually and putting it into this particular load definition then also it is not required or this this warning will not come one more thing that uh, suppose you are not at all performing the static analysis in this structure you are directly performing the dynamic analysis and the static base shear calculation you are doing manually and then uh, just you are just using it for uh, uh, scaling of the base shear of the dynamic uh, we can say load case so in that case obviously you will not get this kind of warning so i have just told you how you can get this warnings and how you can resolve it and when you may not get this one right so this is how you can uh, solve this problem with uh, 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 of the warning that you are getting regarding the wall area uh, 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 with reference to uh, clause 7.6.2 b of is 1893 part one okay so it is a very simple and small uh, lecture i just wanted to share because uh, once i faced this and i uh, uh, i found out by searching in google or some places like uh, if you see the bentley community there are hundreds of solutions given so i thought of sharing with you you may not be uh, i can say uh, you can say you may not have seen this or most of have most of you have already seen this so uh, whoever uh, have not seen it yet so i just wanted to share with them uh, this particular solution okay so if you want to know uh, uh, such uh, detailed things or you can say such problem solvings that uh, i'm sharing uh, regarding the rcc structure design in statro you can check my uh, you can say uh, course regarding the rcc building design uh, using statro as per is 456 and is13920 in my uh, uh, illustrious academy website or in illustrious academy app so you just visit www.illustrious.in or you just download the android or uh, ios app from the link given in the description uh, so that you can visit the course and if you think it is helpful or it can be helpful to you you can always enroll if you have any query regarding the online courses available in Lester's academy you can always contact me uh, uh, in linkedin in whatsapp in youtube wherever you have my contact or you are connected to me you can always ask me regarding this thank you and see you in the next lecture with uh, a new uh, such topic see you in the next lecture